Breaking news, guys. Southeasterners in shock. Tunable secret finally revealed. The main reason behind Kano's prolonged detention. Kenneth Okonkwo goes wide. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, I beg, subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Prominent Labour Party chieftain Kenneth Okonkwo has ascertained that the continued detention of Namdi Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, is primarily due to ethnic bias. Okonkwo made these remarks during an appearance on Arise TV's Newsday program on Wednesday, where he discussed the ongoing detention of Kano by the Department of State Service, DSS. Namdi Kano has been in the custody of the DSS since June 2021, following his extraordinary rendition from Kenya. He is currently facing terrorism charges brought against him at the Federal High Court. Despite numerous calls for his release, Namdi Kano remains detained, a situation Okonkwo attributes to ethnic prejudice. In recent months, there has been a significant push for Kano's release, particularly from stakeholders in the south southeastern region of Nigeria. In June, a group of 50 members of the House of Representatives petitioned President Bola Tinubu to order Kano's release. Additionally, the Southeast Governors Forum recently resolved to meet with President Tinubu to discuss a political solution for Kano's situation. The Southeast region has seen a rise in violent activities by gunmen enforcing a seat at home order every Monday to demand Kano's release. This arrest underscores the urgency and complicity of the issue at hand. Okonkwo further contended that Kano's continued detention only serves to alleviate his status and diminish the government's credibility. He is now more like a political prisoner. The longer Namdi Kano is in prison, the taller he becomes and the shorter the government becomes, Okonkwo remarked. Stressing the symbolic power Kano has garnered during his imprisonment. In conclusion, Okonkwo called on the federal government to emulate the leniency show to other separatist figures by releasing Kano. He urged the authorities to choose the intelligent way out and address the root cause or causes of unrest in the Southeast by setting Kano free whether conditionally or unconditionally. This call to action by Okonkwo reflects a broader sentiment among many in the Southeast who view Kano's detention as emblematic of deeper ethnic and political tensions in Nigeria. The resolution of Kano's case, according to Okonkwo and other advocates, is seen as a potential catalyst for peace and st stability in the region. The truth remains that those who do not want peace in Nigeria will say there is no need for Mazen Namdi Kano to be released. Throughout the history of this nation, there has been instances where individuals have been arrested and charged with treasonable felony offenses. The late Awolowo was unjustly arrested, charged and convicted by the federal government Similarly, MKO Abiola was arrested and detained by the military government for the same offense. Ultimately, passing away in detention, it is within the president's authority to order his release if he believes that he will restore peace in the southeast region. Kenneth is a tribalist clan already noted. He should go to Buhari who arrested Kano. What was his role to curb Kano when he was inciting violence and destruction of properties and life in Lagos, 
during NSAS protests. People are deemed useless and lack good conscience. Now it's ethnical uh, dilemma, but not ethnical dilemma. When Kano was saying a lot to Fulanese and Yorubas or day. Hey, this is our show. Wait, to oh, wait, oh. Let's, let's. You see, you see this tribalism I'm talking about? It has actually torn us apart, oh. No Hebo man will say anything sensible. No Yoruba man will say anything sensible. No Hausa person will say anything sensible because people must come attack. They must f surely find a way, oh, because you are from this place. That is why. Why did people not attack Atiku when he said, Nam, Nam the Kano, uh, continued detention, you know, uh, is, is expired? He said, political solution to Mazi Nam the Kano's case is overdue. The government should release him. We have some many prominent, uh, prominent Nigerians who are not even from the Southeast, also calling for, you know, Nam the Kano's release. Saying this, no, it does not make it does not make sense. You understand? It does not make sense. You understand? This issue of Mazinam the Kano's continued detention is no longer it's just just Mazinam the Kano's matter. We are talking about Southeasterners who can no longer drink water and drop the cup. You understand? See, Nigerians, this issue of uh uh agitations here and there in Nigeria. Uh, don't also forget that in present Bola Metinibu region, there is agitation as well. So make it not come be like saying now only Southeastern is agitating. The government have to do something. You know, they just have to do something. Carry everybody along. Let there be inclusiveness. Let there be justice. Let there be fairness. And everybody will be okay last, last. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you and bye for now.